Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Darling, a story by Anton Chekhov. Anton is a Russian writer and he became famous after World War I when his stories began to get translated into English and he became famous internationally. And even today, his stories are read all over the world. This story, The Darling, shows Olga, a young woman who suffers from extreme codependency and identity issues. Other women refer to us as you darling to reinforce her subordination to her husband. Her progression through various husbands shows that she cannot live without loving someone. Olga Plemianko becomes close to the theatre owner Mr. Kukin who is her neighbour. Olga has always been in love with someone starting with her father as a young child and she also inspires mutual affection from most of the people she meets. Even Olga's female friends will claim in the middle of conversation, Oh you darling, as a way of conveying their fondness for her. Olga's father dies leaving his daughter their large townhouse and she marries Kukin. Although the couple are happy, an expression of despair never left Kukin's face. Olga helps Kukin by keeping his accounts and managing his business. She adapts his attitudes, shares his complaints and worries about the size of the audiences. Kukin leaves to hire actors in Moscow and one day a messenger delivers a telegram informing her of Kukin's death. Although devastated, Olga spends only three months in mourning before befriending Vasily Pustovalv, the merchant of a local timber yard. Olga liked him very much and a courtship lasting only a few days, they marry. And soon Olga is working in her husband's office, that is second husband's office and regaling her friends with tales of timber prices as though she had worked in the business for years. She dismisses the theatre as though it is nonsense and she becomes somber and religious minded and shares every opinion that Vasily holds. She even encourages her new friend, an army veterinarian named Simran, to forgive his adulterous wife and mend their marriage for the good of his son. The Pushtavlaws enjoy a comfortable, well fed life for six years until Vasily catches a cold in the timber yard and dies after a prolonged illness. Olga retreats into virtual isolation with only her cat and visits from Simran to occupy her. She adopts all of Simran's ideas and embarrasses him by parroting, that is repeating his opinions regarding animal diseases. Olga and Simran soon become lovers. But unfortunately, Simran is posted to a camp near Siberia and has to leave her alone. Years later, he reappears and informs Olga that he has reunited with his wife and his young son. Olga suggests that the family move into her home and she can live in the attached cottage. Olga falls in love with Simran's nine-year-old son Sasha, who moves in with her after his mother leaves to stay with her sister. Olga enjoys taking him to school and helping him with homework, but the boy feels smoothed by his aunt's love. Olga's moods fluctuate between joyfulness at her new lifestyle and fear that Sasha's mother will send for the little boy. The story ends on a cryptic note as Sasha cries out in his sleep at night. I'll give you on. Get out. Don't hit me. And here the story ends. Olga is obsessed with her male companions because she depends on them for validation and social status. It was evident that she could not live without attachment. Everyone calls her the darling because she is generous and supportive, which is seen by adults in the community as a positive trait. The story ends abruptly with Shasha rejecting Olga, calling out her co-dependent behavior, pointing out her folly in the way only a child can do. It's a beautiful story. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box, like the video, share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.